So maybe Biden doesn't go to Kiev, but what more can we do? Well, gosh, he just was in Brussels. He was just in Warsaw. He was just outside uh, in other locations. Did that uh, make in a difference? Poland. Um, it made a huge difference. That NATO meeting was called on such short notice for one reason. The U.S. president said he was going to go to Brussels, and so all the rest of them came as well. No one was more critical of this administration than I was over the decision to withdraw from Afghanistan, the lack of real yes. consultation with our NATO allies on it, and the way it was conducted. But in this case, I think you have to give credit to the administration uh, and overall for leading the world in a number of the different ways here. Mm, the Biden administration deserves credit and that's only fair. And that was General David Petraeus clashing and correcting Fox News host Harris Faulkner. This is what happens when Fox News actually puts on a military analyst who has some credibility as opposed to one of those rena generals who will say whatever Fox News wants. And there was Petraeus speaking the truth about Biden's handling of Afghanistan. And, and Faulkner didn't want to hear any of it. Uh, and she kept trying to portray Joe Biden as somehow in a bunker, even though Petraeus then pointed out, no, Biden was just in Warsaw. He got together with the members of NATO. Uh, and again, Harris Faulkner is trying to correct General Petraeus in something she doesn't know anything about. She's never served in the military. She's never served in terms of covering the military as a reporter. As far as I know, as an anchor, she's never been in the field covering a military operation. And yet there she is pushing an agenda that happens to contradict what Petraeus is talking about. And you could see more evidence of this when Harris Faulkner tried to push the general to talk about a political poll that showed a disconnect between the credit for Biden and where a lot of the American people are. And Petraeus said, look, I'm not involved in politics. I'm not going to try to explain the, the disconnect of the difference here. But Faulkner demanded that he somehow be answerable to a poll of misguided, perhaps Americans who don't know much about the military. And here he is, somebody who spent 37 years in the military, rose to head of the Central Command and director of the CIA. We need to be getting our Eastern European NATO allies to provide everything they have that could be provided to the Ukrainians that is compatible with what the Ukrainians use, which is mostly Eastern Bloc systems. Right. So, so that again, we can't give them M1 Abrams tanks, but they can give, Czech Republic is giving T-72 tanks. Mm -hmm. Slovakia gave them the S-300 uh, Eastern Bloc radar system. Now they're considering the artillery. That's what needs to be prov provided. And also but why the ammunition wouldn't we do that, that goes with them. Why, why wouldn't we do that? We it, don't have those systems. The sanctions are we not We don't have working. Eastern Bloc systems. The Harris, sanctions are, and, and I, I heard you system. say that. I, I understand that. Um, but, you sanctions know, you're going to have to backfill some of that. Section. You're going to have to backfill some of those those items, I would imagine, with these countries, too. So we've got to be right there. And, and look, That's the American the people, and I, I want to show you where the American Again. people are right now. Uh, let, let's put it up, because Harris, I think that's I'm a, I'm important. A, I'm a military guy. I oh, don't I know. do domestic politics. Let me just explain to you what I'm seeing and what my understanding okay. is. General, uh, again, with all due respect, I don't do polls. I, I'm just, I, I just want just to show. helping you understand what you're seeing. I, I do understand that. Now, keep in mind that David Petraeus is not exactly beloved by many Democrats. During the Bush administration, he was in charge of forces in Iraq and argued for a surge in forces and then testified to Congress that, oh, yeah, the surge is working. It's meeting many of the military objectives the United States has for Iraq. Well, that was nonsense. And then a lot of Democrats were infuriated when Barack Obama made David Petraeus head of the CIA. And then the biggest scandal during the Obama administration, embarrassing to the Obama White House, was General David Petraeus having to resign from the CIA after he was caught having an extramarital affair with his biographer and sharing classified documents with her. He eventually pleaded guilty to a charge of mishandling classified documents, was sentenced to uh, two years probation and fined $100,000. This was an embarrassment to Democrats. So Petraeus again, is coming at Ukraine from his experience in terms of military truth. Perhaps Fox News thought that he might hammer Joe Biden because of some animosity that he has with Democrats. Well, that didn't happen, and so Harris Faulkner couldn't take it. What they're about to do to the people of Ukraine, they're going to need more. And maybe these other countries are closer. So can I answer? Would you say we are so special? Can I answer, Harris? Yes, please. Can I answer? Okay. What we have done, in fact, is work with Slovakia so that when Slovakia provided their S-300 air defense system, which ranges above the 10,000 feet, the Stinger missiles that we have already provided in very substantial numbers to Ukraine. Which As for Harris Faulkner, she is the quintessential example of Fox News putting out an anchor that they think is really smart and comes across with a lot of integrity. When actually she doesn't have very much journalistic integrity and she's not very bright, especially when she goes off prompter and ad libs. And that was proven a few years ago. She was doing a live interview with Donald Trump. Harris Faulkner said we have some breaking news. Alejandro Mayorka, President Biden, Secretary of Homeland Security, has resigned. Mr. President, your thoughts. And Trump smiled and said, I'm not surprised this is a victory. And then Harris Faulkner had the deer in the headlights look when she realized she had gotten this 
terribly wrong. Fox News blames something that she heard in her ear. What actually seems to happen with Harris Factor, she has a preconceived set of beliefs or notions and she expects her guests to match them. And when an expert comes along, like David Petraeus, and says, no, Joe Biden's doing a good job in Ukraine, Harris Faulkner starts to melt down. And thus you have the interruptions and the clash that we had in that interview. David Petraeus will probably not be invited back on Fox News because of this, but that is how Fox News rolls. I'm David Schuster, thanks for joining us. Tell us your thoughts in the comment section.